Welcome back to the Panic Room, everyone, and to a very special video today. So guys, I had never heard of Godless.com until my friend Nat Winston Reviews mentioned it on a few of her social medias. I want to say she's mentioned it on her Instagram, for sure, and on her YouTube channel. And it just sounds like a site for a horror lover, doesn't it? So of course, I went over and checked it out, and I was absolutely blown away by how many books are on there by small authors. And I love that. And it's all horror stuff. There was even some stuff on there that I was kind of scared to look at. Uh, <laughs> yeah, some of it I was like, mm, I don't know about this. <laughs> I got some Cal's vibes from some of it. I was like, don't know about that. But I did see there was a ton of free books on there, which I just could not believe. So I downloaded a bunch and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a video getting the word out, not only about some of these authors, but about the site in general. And guys, please check out the box below. I'm gonna have a list of all these books and the authors as well as the Godless site linked. So you should definitely go check that out. If you are like me and you were unfamiliar, I was absolutely blown away. I could not believe how many horror books, short stories, things like that were on there. So I downloaded 18. And before you freak out, a bunch of them were short stories. Most of them are short stories, some very short. And I'm gonna bust this into three videos. The first one I'm gonna do seven stories, the second one I'll do seven stories, and for the third video I'm gonna do four because those are the thicker stories. There's one in particular that's 300 and some pages. So I did wanna kinda of save those till the end. Now of course this is gonna be spoiler free. I'm not gonna give you any spoilers. You know, they are short stories. There's not a whole lot I can tell you about them, but I kinda of just wanna tell you enough to make you interested to go check it out and download it. Maybe, you know, throw them a review. You know how important that is for authors, especially small ones. And yeah, just kind of get the word out about godless.com to my horror people because I had never heard of it and I thought it was pretty awesome. So here we go. All right, guys, so first off, the story is called Alien Sex Fluid. <laughs> I'll give you a second. <laughs> Starting off strong, aren't we? Uh, now, this one was, to me, very bizarro. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit hard for me to keep up with it. It really was. But that's a me thing. I don't read a whole lot of Bizarro. I think if you like Bizarro, you would really like it. And when I was putting my notes down, I just have Bizarro and <laughs> Finding Nemo. <laughs> to me, it was like if you had Finding Nemo with Bizarro horror and a lot of drugs. That was the story. <laughs> You're just gonna have to go read it to find out. That's That was my take from it. But again, I don't read a whole lot of Bizarro. But I thought it was pretty good for what it was. It, was. it wasn't really my bag, but I definitely wanted to throw it in here because I know there's a lot of horror lovers that like Bizarro stuff. So, alien sex fluid. Okay guys, in the next one. Scumbags burn in hell. Oh, have you guys ever seen this show? Your pretty face is going to hell. I think this is hilarious. So that's kind of sort of the feel I got from this story. You know, it had its own setup for hell, let's say. But my other note for this is possess little girls. And I can't really give you any more than that without giving away a plot point. But the whole way that this kind of like world was set up, the rules that were put in place, you know, it was a very familiar setting, a kind of sort of familiar story, if you will, but the rules are what really made it fun for me. It's what made it unique. And it does not lack on the body horror. For my body horror lovers, for my gore lovers, you guys are gonna love it. So, scumbags burn in hell. All right guys, so with this next one, we're gonna, we're gonna kind of just slide right into it. It's called Billy Billy Panty Sniffer. <laughs> and it is disgusting for the exact reason you're thinking, but also for some that you're not. Um, it has a little bit of a twist ending that you're, you're kind of just eased on into that's just absolutely revolting and disgusting. And, you know, it's all about family. It, it definitely gave off here and there some, some cow's vibes. Uh, it just, ugh, it, it was gross. But, you know, it, it's, it's all part and parcel with horror. So yeah, if you don't mind that disgusting aspect to your horror and you can get by the title, yeah, Billy Billy Panty Sniffer. Okay, so the next one, Die Already. I liked this. I have down my notes say interesting power, and I can't really give you a whole lot about the power without giving it away, but suffice it to say, it has to deal with, you know, like views of death and kind of everything that constitutes that, like how you view it, what it's about, things like that. It's not exactly philosophical, don't get me wrong, but you know, you have this like first person account of having this particular power and how it 
interacts with life and death. And it was well done. I liked it. I really did. I thought it was a very interesting take on that power. It's not the first time I've seen that done, but it was, it was definitely worth a read. I thought it was very cool. Okay, so the next one. The next one does kind of warrant a trigger warning, in, in my opinion. It's called, Closing My Eyes Helps Me See Clearly. And right out of the gate, I'm going to tell you, there's a trigger warning for, you know, death and injury to a child. So if that's not your bag, maybe skip past this one. But the other note that I have about this is fever dream. Oh, okay, I wouldn't go so far as to say this was bizarro. It was a lot easier to follow than Alien Sex Fluid was for me, but as I was reading it, I was like, this is coming off like a fever dream. That's the only thing I kept thinking. It was cool. It was really neat. I, I liked how it was set up, but it, it was real wacky. Real, real wacky. And, you know, it was one of those that, it to me, it, it was just long enough. Like, it definitely lent itself to being a short story. And, you know, it stood out. It really did. It stood out as wacky and weird, and I felt a definite worthwhile read. So... It's a bit of a mouthful for a title. Closing my eyes helps me see clearly. Okay, and the next one was, and I hope I'm gonna say this right, Nosophobia. When I was reading this, there was there were some parts in here that I could resonate with, mostly the job of our main character, but there was so much about this that you didn't get until the end. But it makes me wonder if someone spoke Chinese, would have been such a reveal at the end because right out of the gate, you have this guy who's going out to dinner in China, and I wanna say he's Western. He's not Chinese. So he's going out to dinner in China with his Chinese friend. And it's to this like real big popular restaurant, you know, that people love, that's supposed to be real out there and trendy. And they start to eat raw birds. And, and that's really all I can tell you. But some crazy whacked out shit starts happening, like the dancing and all kinds of stuff. And then you get this big reveal at the end that was like a play on the restaurant's name. And I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll never guess it unless, of course, you speak Chinese. And maybe not even then. Uh, it, but let's just say that it harkens back to a social, maybe pseudo-political story that came out and was kind of popular, let's say, about two years ago when a certain something happened. That's all I'm going to tell you. So, Nosophobia. And guys, I saved the best one for the end of this video. <laughs> it's called... Doll's House Diabolic. And when I saw the title, I was like, cool, Diabolic. I love me some Devil Heart. There is so much in this story. Like, I, I don't even I, I don't even know where to begin. So in my notes, I just have the hangover. Okay, so that kind of sets the scene for you, right? You you guys are familiar with the movie The Hangover, this thing right here? Yeah, so so that kind of sets the scene for you. A little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. Kind of gives you a little bit of what we're dealing with. My next note. It's pussy show. Okay, so they go to Thailand, and part of this, again, not giving anything away, they go to see a pussy show, and, you know, I mean, I'm not an idiot. I know what that, that kind of is, but I, I, I had no idea what went on. I had never heard of such a thing, so it was kind of like, I was thinking it was going to be just a sex show, but it was like sex show meets carnival or like a magic act. I, I just, I, I kind of want to see one just because of the, like, outlandish shit that they describe. I just want to see if it's physically possible, okay? I, I'm going to assume it is, but I had never heard of such a thing. So, yeah, you got that. And then the last note that I have, and again, not going to spoil anything, is snake dick. <laughs> and no, I do not mean a snake with a penis, okay? So I'm going to let your mind wander there. And just everything that occurs... There's some stuff that I saw coming. I mean, I knew, I knew one thing was going to happen. It, it was just so clear. And if you read horror, you're going to be like, yep, yep, that's going to happen. And you will be right. But what happens after the thing that you'll guess? You, you won't, you, you won't see that happening. You won't see that coming. It was a good story. It was wacky. It was bizarre. There was some, some body horror. There was all kinds of shit happening. Just, just read it. Just read it. Doll's House Diabolic. It's really really short, but boy does it pack a punch. So guys, I've kept you here long enough. This was part one of my godless.com books. Please come back and hang out for part two. We will be discussing seven more of the short stories. And then of course in part three, we will discuss four of the longer stories. So thank you guys for hanging out. Please like and subscribe. It would really help me out. And until next time, bye for now.